Hello everyone. My name is Kedar Joshi. I am a senior project manager at Vista Solutions and welcome to this presentation of how to implement project-based manufacturing for engineer to order industries. Vista Solutions is a world-class software solutions company providing ERP, CRM, BPM, HRM, and business intelligence implementation services in the global market to the variety of enterprises. We help our customer to select right software, provide services in the implementation of the selected software. Upon successful go live, we provide version upgradation, migration, and support services. The manufacturing systems are typically focused towards MRP at the center. The emphasis of such systems is on standard bill of materials, routings, and standard costs. In today's challenging business environment, manufacturers are faced with, a, with an increased pressure from competition to reduce costs, improve and maintain quality, and decrease lead times. Designers and manufacturers of projects face more unique challenges due to the complexity of the products they build and the peculiar requirements of this project-based engineer to order environment. That's why today companies look to information technology to help improve their processes and gain a competitive advantage. Organizations in the engineer to order world may have different requirements. For example, a plastic molding manufacturer may need ETO environment to prototype their specific products, or a metal fabricator may need an ETO environment to execute all their orders via project manufacturing. Designing and building complex products and projects to exact customer specifications frequently involves long lead times and heavy engineering content. So in order to win business, one must focus on accurate estimates and quotations to a demanding customer base. Unlike most manufacturers, project-based manufacturers typically purchase material to a specific project or a job. Such projects need to do progress-based billing and collect actual costs as project progresses. Often these projects will not receive payments until it is installed and operating at customer site. So cash management is of vital importance. And after the sale, project need to track warranty information and provide aftermarket services, including the sale of spare parts that may contribute a significant amount of companies business. Engineers typically don't always follow a smooth flow from step to step, even in ordinary manufacturing. So most manufacturing design decisions tends to be highly iterative. It is very common to create a design that meets customer approval, test it, make changes to meet specifications, and resubmit at certain stages or milestone in order to approve to proceed to the next stage. Engineer to order due to its nature is even more complex and client-centric. This requires ongoing documentation, but the approach typically involves many steps. That's why Vista offers tons of features in this unique ETO environment. With Vista's ETO app, you can create a project template or duplicate the template in order to create different project types. You can define different project processes like tasks, subtasks, sequence of these tasks, validity, whether it's an internal or customer dependent task, whether we need any kind of approval for specific tasks, etc. You can also configure 
different project stages like new, in progress, completed, canceled, etc. So you can create a sale order based on this specific configured project. Upon sales order confirmation, a project will get auto triggered. Once project gets confirmed, tasks and subtasks will get triggered under, under this project. If any purchases are associated with this project, then automatic purchase orders will get triggered. Many a times design and drawing approvals are needed from customer in order to kickstart this project. So these tasks can be accessed by customer easily via customer portal. And even customer can monitor progress of the internal tasks via same portal. Once project progresses, we can submit milestone-based billing. We can complete the manufacturing and deliver the project to the customer. Then we can submit the sales invoice and collect the balance payment. We can also associate the resource timesheets to the project as it progresses. And upon completion, we can review project profitability report based on planned versus actual cost. That's why Vista's ETO app offer a lot of benefits to the project manufacturers. We can optimize resource utilization by backward capacity planning, can eliminate resource bottlenecks and, and make sure the project activities are completed on real-time basis. We can rapidly create new customer projects with the previous project templates. We can determine project budget and project timeline as accurate as possible. It will also help to create multi-tiered project with tasks and subtasks along with the dependencies. It will help eliminate disconnected communication between different departments and even with the customer also via customer portal. It will facilitate to improve decision-making and ensure that the resources are not really idle by linking their timesheets directly to the project tasks. It will help manage, analyze, monitor, and communicate changes across all the functional departments as project progresses, and we can update accounting entries on real-time basis based on project task progress. Vista has expertise in the project manufacturing-based engineer-to-order environment. We have a talent pool of subject matter experts for supply chain management, manufacturing, accounting, and integrations. We will help understand the specific business requirements and configure the system to address the specific business needs. We have configured a live demonstration of a plastic molding manufacturing with all the project stages and project processes. My colleague and functional expert Vivek will go over this demonstration. Welcome everyone. Today's presentation will cover Bista's very own project-based manufacturing solution. So if you are a company that typically has to design a customer's products by introducing or revising a bill of materials or process, or if you simply follow a set of project tasks before you can create and complete a manufacturing order, then this is probably a relevant demonstration for you to view. Okay, let's begin the demo. Firstly, we're gonna go into the project's application, as this is where we will set up the project template which you'll find under configuration and project type. Okay, I'm gonna use this simple plastic molding manufacturing template because it's only got five tasks, but in reality, based on the type of product you're manufacturing, you might have dozens of project-based tasks, which might have related operations like manufacturing orders, purchase orders, approvals, um, ECOs, and so forth. Okay, but for the sake of the demo, we're gonna look at this one right here, plastic molding manufacturing, which I have open up. And we're gonna talk about the template before we move on to creating a sales order and a manufacturing order. So here you can see sequence of five related tasks to this template. 
And each task is essentially a process and it's given a name. So we have a design related task, an ECO, releasing a bill of materials task, a manufacturing and process task, and then a quality check task. Tasks can have followers. Those can be assigned to specific individuals who might have a role to complete the task. Task could be a main task or it could be a subtask. So there's a parent and child hierarchy. And then we can specify whether tasks are dependent on one another or if we can run them in parallel. And the final part is what type of task is it? Is it a standard project task where you just want to enter in a description of work and timesheets? Or is that task going to allow you to create an engineering change order, manufacturing order, purchase order, or some sort of approval, whether it's customer related or internal? Okay, let's go ahead and create a quote or sale order, and we're going to add this template on there. So I'm going to select a customer. Let's use the Jackson Group. And this is the most important part for project-based manufacturing to continue and trickle through the rest of the Odoo system. We must add the template on the quotation. When I add the template, we now have access to a project process and project details where we will specify when we want to finish the project. And the system will prompt us with the latest day we should start it. If I want to end the project on the 30th of September, I must start no later than the 20th of September. Let's add a product. Okay, I'm going to save. And we also have access to the raw materials. Okay, once I confirm this, some smart tabs will appear. I have a delivery related to my sale order 161 and a project overview. And the project is sale order 161. And it's tied to our plastic molding manufacturing template. I have access to the project process, my raw materials, any settings of the project, like the project manager, customer details, timesheets, and then whether or not we can access our documents from here, all related tasks, profitability report, timesheets recorded, and any forecasted hours. Project is in new stage right now. I'm going to go ahead and quickly confirm it, which will move it to in progress. And it's going to launch our tasks, five of them, one of which is a portal task. So let's go in here and see the project stages. So I have a pipeline. Blue task is our customer task. And then the red ones down here are internal processes for us to complete. So we're going to quickly move the first one into in progress. I'm going to quickly open up a new incognito window. And we're going to pretend to sign in as a customer so we can complete the task. Okay, I'm going to go into the projects tab. That's our project 161. Five tasks related to the project. Customer can see that this one in blue is assigned to him, Gordon. We're going to click into this. We're going to click approve. And we can even write a little message. Okay, so now this task is complete. Let's go ahead and close this window. And I'm going to move this to in done stage. The next task is our ECO. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to click edit. I'm going to create a related ECO. Okay. It's a design improvement or a revision. I'm going to apply it on the bill of materials. Let's select the product. I can specify when I want this to become effective. I'm going to select immediately. We're going to close this. I'm now going to assign this to me. And I'm just going to save it real quick. We're going to come in here and actually let's add in some timesheet entries so we can view it in the profitability report. Okay. I'm going to go to the PLM, refresh the page. Three engineering changes. The new one is ours right here. I'm going to move it to in progress. We're going to go in here. I'm going to start the revision. I see that my related task in the project is tied to my ECO 39. We're on revision number 10 for the product. And any drawings or documents related to the ECO can be attached right here as well. So we'll go in here. I'm just going to quickly update my bill of materials quantity. I've added 100 grams. But if I wanted to, I can come in here and change or add the routing, anything related to the process, like quality steps, the work centers, and the duration. 
And let's go back to our ECO, move it to invalid, move it to validated. I could track my changes from right here, apply the changes, and it's effective. Okay, so we've gone ahead and completed the ECO task. So I'm going to go back to my project and I'm going to say this task is done. Let's go back to the tasks. This one is a quick regular project task. So we're just going to say we've gone ahead and released the manufacturing order. This is the one that will create the manufacturing order. So I'm going to click into this one. I'm going to edit it, assign it to me. I'm going to create the MO. It's going to trigger a smart tab there in the right corner. I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to fill out my plan date for production, which I'll say is today. And I'm going to save it and I'm going to confirm it. Okay, as soon as I confirm it and move state confirm state right here. And now I'm just going to quickly plan, check availability of my raw materials. It's become available and it's reserved. And I have access to my work orders. So we're going to start the work orders one by one. I have big bold buttons. If I need a pause, block, scrap, add a component, buy product, issue a quality alert, or maybe my machinery is down and I need to issue a maintenance request to the maintenance team. All of this is at my fingertips in the production view. I'm going to mark this as done. And we're going to move on to the next task or work order. New worksheet pulls up related to the work order. Timer is moving in real time. I'm going to mark this as done. And we're going to move to the third one. Mark it as done. And then the fourth one, zip through. We're going to mark this as done and now close the manufacturing order. So as soon as I close it, you'll see that there's no longer any work orders sitting here for us. And if I go back to my project, I can go here and I can see that my manufacturing task is automatically moved into the done stage. So it was in progress. We completed and closed the MO. And without us having to touch anything, this MO task in the project has now gone into done or completed. Last task, let's go and issue a quality check in our delivery. I'm going to go in here. I'm just going to refresh the page. Sale order 161 transfer is outgoing 125. I'm going to do the quality check. I'm going to pass it. I'm going to validate. Hit apply. And we've pushed this out of our warehouse. So we just took an order, we created a manufacturing order, we built the product, then we went ahead and we shipped it. So I'm going to do a couple of things before we wrap up the demo. I'm now going to go back to my sale order. And just for the simplicity's sake, I'm just going to create a draft invoice from here. And then we're going to jump into our accounting dashboard. So I'm going to come in here, I'm going to refresh this, and I have items that I need to validate. So I'm going to come in here as an accountant, click on this, and I can see project 161 right here. So I'll come in here, I'll confirm this to post it. I have access to my journal items right here. I'm going to register the payment and create the payment. And it's done in payment. So I'm going to go here quickly, and I'm going to create some timesheet journal entry. I'm going to select two dates, and we're going to see our project entries that we created from that one task we added timesheets to. Here we go, project 161, post, and we're done. Okay, so now I'm just going to go to two places. I'm just going to move this right here. I'm going to go back to my project dashboard, and I'm going to show you profitability report. Okay. I have my sale order amount, my invoice amount, the paid amount, production cost, my timesheet cost, gives me my profit, okay? The only other thing I wanna show you is in manufacturing, once we completed the order, we also had some tabs related to cost analysis. So we have our cost of raw materials, cost of operations, which is the work center costing. And then we also have cost of labor, which is based on the resource that's working at the work center. So all of this will give you your unit cost, which will tie back into the profitability report that we saw a second ago, okay? So that is the demo. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope it was informative and we hope to see you soon. Thank you.
Thank you very much. And I'm ready for the questions if you have.